um, I am one of a team of people that decides what's on view at the museum um, at any given time. And for special exhibitions, we really want to bring um, exhibitions in that are going to complement the teaching. So actually, this show uh, was originated by the museum, but the artist and her work was brought to our attention by the uh, people in the Landscape Studies Department. So Ann Weston Spur is a professor of architecture and urban planning at MIT. And she's known as the godmother of Smith's Landscape Studies Department. So she's a very internationally renowned person in her field, has written a number of really influential books. And so when Smith decided to put together a Landscape Studies program, the people in charge, the first person they wanted to talk to was Anne. And she has been incredibly helpful over the 10 plus years that the program's sort of been developing. Um, she comes in lectures at least once a year as part of Landscape Studies. and. Um, it just seemed like a natural fit. She was actually here for a Khan Institute program, and I met her, we started talking, we looked at works, and, and the book that she was working on at that time was this book, The Eye is a Door, which is really focusing on her photography. And she really wanted to sort of do a partnership with a museum that would you know, bring her photography and her idea about you know, visual thinking um, together into one place. And so we thought this was a perfect fit, particularly because, you know, Smith, she's been important to Smith, Smith has been important to her, and um, there were a lot of faculty partners right here that were really excited about working with the exhibition. So that was about, golly, about three years ago um, that Anne and I started talking about the exhibition, and it really was a, a team approach. But everybody in the museum was on board, so we have a really active education department, the director, the other curators, um, as well as various faculty members sort of weighed in. Um, yeah. Well, it's, there's a number of different things that we do with all of our exhibitions. Um, first off, the uh, school tours are done by Smith students. There's the Student Museum Educator Program, and they are trained in a technique called VTS, which is Visual Thinking Strategies. And it's this very sort of open-ended way of helping people decode images. Um, and it's a very sort of simple process where you stand in front of a work, and it's actually harder than it looks, but you just ask some very simple questions. You know, what do you see? Um, you know, what makes you say that, tell me more. And it's, it's fascinating to watch people really unpack an image because artists create works visually and they have things in mind that they want you to see, but it's all there in the image. And it's sort of amazing to be able to like not give anyone any information, outside information about an image, but watch them sort of know what things are about. Like for example, this piece here, sorry, move too fast. Um, you get people in front of this picture, and invariably their first question was Anne's first question is, oh my God, you know, which came first? Like, why is this, what is this, why is this here, which came first? Because you notice that this, you know, these, all of these shapes sort of mirror each other. Um, and once you sort of start looking at an image, um, it starts to bring up questions, you start to notice patterns, you start to notice um, anomalies, and that's exactly what Anne does in her practice. So. Um, She's a landscape architect, and when she goes out into a landscape, she takes photographs as sort of a visual note-taking. And then um, you know, she will photograph things that really strike her that kind of just bring up questions in her mind. She starts to notice patterns. And so she'll take a photograph, bring it back to her studio, and then sort of start to dig deeper into what those questions are and what they mean. And there are lots of visual cues in the landscape and in the photographs that kind of lead you to know more about a place. And it's sort of developing um, a, a deeper level of curiosity about what's going on here. Um, so visual thinking strategy is about something that we do in general. But also, um, visual literacy is so much a part of what Anne is trying to do in her own practice, which is actually fairly unusual. I mean, most people who are artists aren't necessarily thinking about visual literacy and helping people read images. But that's what Anne does with her work um, for herself, and it's sort of what she wants other people to be able to figure out how to do. Um, it's also interesting because there are so many different disciplines that could make use of a um, exhibition like this. We've had classes um, in, in writing, environmental studies, landscape studies, of course, art, um, what's it, geology. So there's a lot of geology in these pictures as well. So it's something that seems really tailor-made to an interdisciplinary atmosphere. So we thought this is really just a great opportunity to 
really um, hit one of our core goals, which is helping people develop visual literacy, which is basically just learning how to read images or the, the world around them in a very visual way. Yeah, I think the most important thing to do is um, you know, slow down and take time in really looking at what you're looking at and understand that you, know, you don't really need to have any outside knowledge. Like you don't need to know um, where the artist is from and what her biography is or any of those details because everything you need to know really is in the picture itself. And just sort of start by asking questions, you know, why is that blue? You know, what, what's going on with the edges? I think, you know, the more time that you spend with an object thinking about, you know, the forms, the materials, the colors, the shapes, um, and how, like, say, how the viewer interacts with it. Like, one of the things I love to do whenever I'm looking at particularly photographs is try to think about where the artist has positioned the camera. Um, you know, it, like in terms of like, is it down here? Is it up here? Where do they want the viewer to be standing? Because that's a whole part of it is, is trying to figure out where the frame is. Um, but just sort of like thinking like, like an artist, you know, if you're going to paint a picture, if you've made somebody with a blue nose, what is that about? Like, why would you do that? Um, but just take all the things that catch your eye and really think about like, okay, what does this say? What does this mean? Um, that you don't really need to have specialized uh, um, you don't need to have specialized knowledge to get a lot out of interacting with a work of art. So that's what I hope that people would do in this exhibition as well as all around the museum. Well, I mean, they should definitely come on second Fridays. It's a nice, fun thing to do. But um, the one thing that I think is going to be really great is that Anne, the artist, is going to be coming back and she's going to be doing a gallery talk here on the second Friday in June, which is June 14th, um, 6 o'clock. And um, so that's sort of a great event not to miss um, because it's really interesting to see her walk around the exhibition, hear her take on these images she knows really well. But every second Friday, there's usually a public program at 6 o'clock called Open Eyes. And that's when a member of the museum staff does VTS, this visual okay. thinking strategy. Um, and it, they do it all over the building, so it's not just with, um, with works in this exhibition, or they've done them with works in this exhibition. And it's really a fascinating technique and something that I think is very empowering for people because you're in a group and nothing that you say is wrong. If you can see it, it's there. Right. Yeah. But it's also interesting to kind of um, hear people starting to respond to what other people are seeing and building on it. And pretty soon as a group, you've built you know, kind of an amazing narrative that relates directly to a work of art. Oh, it's, it's this really special thing. Oh, yeah.